Now, so far, we've only been creating uh, actions where it's me clicking on a button. Uh, but what happens if I want to do something with my mouse? Say, for example, I want to uh, take my BTN OK, and I want to indicate when the mouse actually kind of enters in, when it uh, you know kind of gets the mouse over it. What do I want to do? So, but I can come in here and I can do the exact same thing I did with my set uh, on action. I can actually come in here and I can go btn, okay, dot, and now instead of doing set on action, which is you know, the button being clicked, set on mouse. Now, as you notice, I start to type out mouse, I get a whole slew of options that I can work from. On mouse clicked, on mouse dragged enter, on mouse dragged exit, on mouse dragged, drag over, enter, exited, moved, pressed, clicked, released. I have so many mouse actions. If we think about it, that's really the case. I have things like my drag and drop method. I have just moving my mouse over. Let's say, for example, I want to deal with when I kind of enter in. Now, what I'm going to do before I work on the Lambda expression is I'm going to do the old fashioned way, the inner anonymous class, e the event handler. Now, instead of this being a, an action event, this is actually a mouse event. And the exact same thing comes into play. I throw in my curly braces and then my squigglies. Now, it's erroring out only because I must implement the uh, handle method just like when I used an action event. And so, again, what's it complaining about? I need to uh, import this just like always. All right, I imported my, just to show that off, I imported scene.input. I'm gonna just put the star there because that way I don't have to worry about the errors again. And now, because of this, this event, again, it's just my parameter. This is no different than when I did AE for action event. I can do me for mouse event. I wouldn't actually do that me. That sounds me. That uh, naming of that. I'm gonna keep it event. I would really wouldn't go with a uh, me for mouse event. That doesn't sound. That sounds like it might be more confusing than helpful. But now what I can say is, oh, when the btn ok when the mouse enters into btn ok, I want it to say something. And for my sake, I'll just have it say system dot out dot uh, print ln uh, OK button moused over. Simple enough. I run it, and as soon as I mouse over it, ooh, 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 I can do this with all of them. As you can guess, what I can do is I'm going to go ahead and just take this exact same code. And instead of entered, we're going to do one for when it exits. Exited. Mouse uh, over, exited, or mouse, uh, no longer mouse over. There we are. No longer mouse over. Ha ha. I run it again. Now I mouse over the OK button. Boop. As soon as I leave the OK button. I'm no longer mouse over. So I can now kind of do this uh, back and forth between it. So let's see if we can't maybe do something with that. So I mouse over entered. So uh, let's see. The btn ok dot set. Let's see. Where are you? Uh, where were you? Set. We'll just do text fill for right now. Uh, color dot RGB. Or we'll just do color.red, why not? Color.red. Make sure to import our color. I know, all these imports, craziness. Now when I run this, what should happen when I mouse over it, boop, my color turned red, ooh. Ah, my color didn't change. Well, guess what we can do? We can come back over here, take the same command, maybe put it over here, and instead, put it back to black. Again, now I run through this, and now I'm pretty much making sort of that indication. I get, you know, I get that effect for buttons just by default. But now I'm saying do a little bit more. Oh, look at that! Make it red. Make it not red. Make it red. Make it not red. Make it red. Make it not red. Red. 
so we can continue to advance this out. One more thing I'll do is, again, let's reduce it down. Let's do that lambda expression for now set on mouse entered. These are the only two commands I want, and I have to do one, two, three, four, five, six lines for that? No. What? What are we? Uh, are we in the Stone Ages here or something? Let's just reduce that down to the bare essentials. Let me just say event dash greater than. Again, that's for my lambda expression. Boom. 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 Look at that. Beautiful. I'm going to take that same code. I'm going to put it again for my BTN. Uh, let's see. Where are you? There you are. BTN uh, exited. N no longer black. So I've done the exact same thing just with lambda expressions. I've reduced how much I have to type. Let's take a look at what happens when I run it. Mouse over. Ooh, oh, ooh, oh, ooh, oh. All with now just four lines of code.